Greetings and welcome, one and all. I believe that we are finally at the last session from Brony Dungeons and Dragons Season 3. Right, my heart! It was intended to be the other one, but you, you know, it's like I. Role yeah, playing it's... happened. Yeah, role play, and I don't begrudge you. I don't begrudge you the role playing. It's like if it if it fits the story, it fits the story. Okay. <laughs> Did yeah, it fit well, the story? Right. Your fault for having so many talented people in here, Josh. Shame on you. Also, we could technically say that the amount of times we have to go, we have to traffic every <laughs> five square feet might we've, also. We've, well, I, well, I believe Josh fixed that for this section. Yes. Yeah, we've, yes. Oh, yes. We that's part of it. I, rules. Yes, I have altered a couple of uh, basic gaming rules in order to make things move a little faster. And it uh, hasn't worked yet. I, I apologize. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, that, but, that's the, but that's the funny thing. It's like, who's really to blame for that? Is it me or is it you? Because it's yes. your fault. Yes. yes, it's your fault. <laughs> but it is my fault too. Is that those traps you persuaded me to trade away my cow? <laughs> the answer. The answer is yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Um, All right. Let's get ready. Come on. All right. But yeah, let's get ready. Okay. So we're just gonna jump right back into it, and there's only there's only going to be a ba a basic little recap. You all and it's like when we last left the party, they had entered the. Fortress of Malshim, and found a, found a couple treasures and goodies, and a couple devils, and they're they even found a wand of augury, and can't seem to fit, figure out what they should be doing with it. Mm -hmm. well, and, I didn't and, get a chance to fix it. Okay. All right. All right. And here is where the story continues. Okay, uh, Jowl speaks out. Okay, before we move on, uh, show of hands, who wants to try the Wand of Augury on one of us to test the lovers? Uh, Hana raises her hand. Uh, no! No. We're not letting the child take the risk. No, she he would be using the wand on him. No, oh, he, he, he asked for a vote. He said he wanted to... He said... He, wanted to know how many people wanted to use it. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, Out so... Of character, remind me the circumstance of the wand again, because I'm only... It, it basically, okay, it's okay. basically foresight. Yeah, it's ba basically, uh, augur... Yeah. Uh... Oh, I'm sorry, not wand of augury. That... My, my bad, I misspoke. It's a wand of commune. Which is basically, uh... It's it's ba it's basically a spell to allow you to figure out like if your immediate next action would be w wise or not. Okay. Okay. So, okay. So I have an so I have an idea. Basically, it's a wand of there are no available traps in your immediate vicinity. Yes. But, so, uh, so I have an idea. But, it, but it's a one word answer every time. <laughs> okay. So I, so I have so I have an idea. Hit that on uh, purpose. I believe it only has five um, uh, five uses. There are six six lovers. One already has blood on. Uh, one already has blood on them, so we can possibly toss out one of those. Um, cast cast it on me five times. I'll hold the lever. If my neck, if I think the action is doesn't to pull it last it, for a certain length of time, so you only need to cast it once. Oh, DM. Uh, that be a spellcraft check on Ellie's part. How about I not scroll through the freaking macro and just scroll through my freaking window? Oh yeah, that would. Oh yeah, that, 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 that would help to get my uh my my. Did I? Uh, yes, I, I did. That was a little. All, cool. all right, you know that it, uh, for your particular party, it will last around. You know that it will last about a minute and a half per charge. Gotcha. Oh, also, wait, Dara, uh, there's another complication I <coughs> feel that needs to be brought up. Uh, may, may I have to say, uh, say it quick? Because <laughs> I know we're on a time limit. Of, co of course. Intent. If you're intending to pull the level just whether or not the, the augury spell says you should... Commune. That effectively commune. Your intent, the commune. commune spell, I should say, says you should, then that could effectively put your intent in a state of 
flux that would make it impossible to judge. How could the commune spell tell you whether or not your next action is going to be a good idea or a bad idea? Yeah, 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 yeah. you're oh, you're over. Uh, okay, I gotta put a moratorium on that. You're over. You're overthinking yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. So basically, <laughs> I uh, basically example. I hold. Um, okay, out of character. Uh, example. I hold the lever. I think the commune spell would ki would kick in if my next action were to pull it. It will trigger yes or no. This is a good idea. Uh, yeah, Brothers just wasn't sure if it would work that way. Is all he was saying. Uh, is, is that what? Is that the? Is that uh, just PM? Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Look, it's just you put you cast the spell. It tells you if it's a good idea or not. You get a one word answer. I don't know okay. how much. I don't know how okay. much dumber I can make this. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, why don't we ask? Why don't we ask Shay? I'm sure he could make come up with something. Okay. Anyway. Um. Okay. I'm all. Of, okay. I'm all in favor of, of testing that out. Uh, we got a minute and a half to t minute and a half to try each one uh, to try it. So that should be plenty of time for all of them. Okay. Shall we? You have the no. You have the wand, Hana. All right, all right. C uh, cast it up. Cast it on me. Uh, all right. Um, and then she sort of waves it at him, unsuredly. Uncertainly, unsuredly is not a word. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, okay. So he wave. You wave it at him, and you intend and with your intent to cast the spell. And then all of a sudden, a little white wisp just shoots out of the shoots out of the wand and gently bathes Jalarum in a soft glow. Okay. Got a okay. Minute and a half. Let's do it. Okay. Let's start with uh, the closest one here. Is it a good idea to pull this lever? You get you get the answer yes back. Oh, first okay. try. Okay, you didn't even do the wrong lever thing. Okay, uh, just just double check. I'll check the next lever. Is it a good idea to, to just to make sure it works? Is it a good idea to pull this lever? You get an answer of no. Gotcha. Okay, so this lever it is. Uh, <laughs> okay, all right. Three. Okay, everyone stand back. Three, oh. okay. two, one. Uh, Jalaram pulls the lever. All right, the lever. Yeah, you pull the lever, and you hear and you hear a bunch of gears shifting and a little bit of clicking. And all of a sudden, the ceiling opens up, and it. And then this. And all. And this little tiny. Suspend suspended shelf lowers down, and uh, with a pedestal containing a small book. Uh. Okay. Is. Um, I'll reach for, I'll reach for the book. Oh, all right. Uh, mage hand for the book. Thank you. <laughs> Better yes. idea. <laughs> yes, mage hand. I was like, <laughs> thank, thank you, dear. Uh, thank you, dear. For oh, actually, you shouldn't my last mage cast. hand still be active? I did cast it before. Uh, I'm going to don't, don't look at don't scroll up because I'm oh, not yes. scrolling up. But uh, I had cast it when we. I had cast it when we found that um, room with the bookshelf because I didn't want to touch anything. But Mage Hand lasts a long time. Mage Hand. Let's take a... Uh, as long as you're concentrating on it. Oh, so then I do have to cast it again. Phase but it's a, a, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's a cantrip. Yeah. Okay. All right. So... You may you may you may hand the book and it's a little it's a little dusty, but immediate but you just and it's a it's a little slightly stuck to it from uh, from apparently from years of being st uh, undisturbed. But you eventually give it a big, good yank, and then oh. you, it gently floats over to you. All right. Oh, All why right. did you have to say it was stuck there, especially with us having found blood in the room that did not conjure positive images. No okay. one did not. No okay. one did not. All right, everyone out. All right. So what is it? What, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? <laughs> Sorry. I, hey, I thought I. Oh my god! I thought I was the one who was booked crazy. So, Still, I wanna... he's correct. What are we dealing with here? <laughs> All right. That, I am going. I think Faye was flirting a little. <laughs> okay, so uh, I am throwing you something. At... Notice. Okay, so I am throwing something into your journal, and that's something you're gonna have to look over at your leisure, because you actually see a familiar face enter the room. Uh, Donde? 
Don't they Nani? Stop? Nani? Huh? Huh? Oh, 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 oh my gosh. I was about to have a stroke. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I'll do uh, this. Why do you do this, Bernard? Why do you do this? Yeah, right. Uh, uh, aren't two layers enough for you? Yeah, Me Mephistopheles is, is, til is tilting his head. Oh, that explains a lot. I he, he, he looks over to you and says, Okay, you see... You see, I had one of my ice devils run to me with a very, very extraordinarily powerful look of terror. And he started explaining to me that the that strange strange people killed all of his comrades and set and let him free. I thought that was very odd behavior, especially for looters. looters? And then I felt Apologies, uh, Mephistopheles. What? We didn't realize that were, those were yours. Hana, Hana, it's okay. <laughs> it's like Mephistopheles shrugs. Eh, they come back in eight months. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so uh, what you doing here? Why would he think we were looters? It it would be a it would be a possibility for someone invading a home and taking what doesn't belong to them. Yes, but that's that is pretty. Yes, that is pretty much it. But Ever Ivan wasn't even playing a song yet. <laughs> no, oh, no, 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 um, no, no. A different meaning of the stealing, word. Child. Not Luna's in playing. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Me Mephistopheles gives a small gives a small chuckle. <laughs> well, that's not really because you see, he 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 looks left. He 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 is about to say something, but then he just kind of giggles and stops himself. <clears throat> uh. The boss is currently away, and that's left his fortress ripe to for the pickings. Wait. Ah. Uh, the big it guy. It occurs to me, how did you get here? Didn't he dimensionally lock the, not lock the lair? He put he he pulls out a sticks coin. Ah. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Quite wait. simple. Wait, ripe for the picking, as in like. These people aren't guards, they're just looters. <laughs> it's like Mephistopheles laughs. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh. We've been careful for so... We've been... What? Take it. Hana, relax. It's better that we... It's better that we were careful. Better, better safe than sorry, but yes. Everyone around here is simply a looter. We took, a, we took care of the guards already. Well... Most of them. Uh, have trouble had trouble with the pit fiends. Uh, some of them. Some of them are mine. Some of them are not. Uh, does that get confusing? That, uh, just, just out of curiosity, like which pit? Oh, oh, crud! Which which pit fiend is mine? Are you yeah, saying they're all the same? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, uh, that, okay, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's like Ravis, you hear a voice in your head. Oh, you it's like oh you you'd know all about judging people, wouldn't you? <laughs> Oof <laughs> To which I meant to which he mentally replies, and your point is And then Mephistopheles, Me Mephistoph Mephistopheles giggles a little bit more. But yes. <laughs> It's uh when it co when it comes to devils, many of us can read we can communicate via telepathy and some of the stronger people can read each other's minds mm. <laughs> what H hana T take a deep breath and say calmly what you're trying to say dear so we could have looked in those other rooms for for something for jaminia It's like Mephistopheles, Mephistopheles blinks a little bit at that. It's like, oh yeah, you were doing that. <laughs> Sorry, I've been so focused on this on this little takeover campaign that I completely forgot. Well, that being said, the two of us could, the our group and your group could likely help each other. Uh, Mephistopheles cut laughs again. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. That is not how this works. You have your you have your little business too, and I have mine, and the only reason that we will ever be working together is if the boss shows up. Yeah. So yeah, so yeah, so we don't want the big red basically if the big red machine shows up, well, yeah. 
enemy of my enemy is my friend. So, uh, yeah, you, you, yeah. So actually, that's exactly what I was referring to. So we both have have, conflict with the boss. Uh, so have fun, but uh, try try not to kill it. Try not to kill any more of my minions. We might need them. Fair point. Just let them know that we are not. We will not threaten them if they do not threaten us. And that Mephistopheles looks upward. A fair request. You, you, see, you see him fold his arms and then close his eyes and hit, put his head down for a little bit. And you kind of feel like a small little vibration, like a little bit, like almost like a gust of wind just pushed against your mind. Mm -hmm. I'm, I don't even need to roll a knowledge arcana to know he's sending telepathic waves. Like... Uh. I guess totally my... psychedelic waves, bro. That's right. Me 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 Mephistopheles opens his eyes and gives a gives a nice sneer. You don't bug them, they don't bug you. We Toodles. Appreci we appreciate your help, Lord Mephistopheles. Uh, good luck having fun with Maladomini and Cania. Good luck storming the castle. Not <laughs> <laughs> a character. You think it'll work? It'll it take a miracle. <laughs> Get out! Alright, um, speaking of, uh, actually, uh, Shout actually, out to back, season two. Actually, back to the, <laughs> uh, back, uh, Jalram, anyway, back to the book, uh, what, what are you, what you reading there? Um, I didn't get a chance to, we had a distraction! Oh, sorry. <laughs> I suppose, then, if that was where the ice demon went, we don't have to worry about, um, Big Red coming back to poke his head in early. Yep, uh. I'll, I'll, I'll just refer to him as the big red machine. Hannah, come back here. <laughs> no, there could have been some clue back there. We could we'll go no. in a moment, dear. Please Hold relax. One a moment, though. Hannah, we've been doing this a long time. You can trust us. Yeah. You know what we're doing. Besides, no use us having to search for you as well. Um, she sort of, like, paces back and forth in, like, a Tarzan-like stance, just, just sort of <laughs> impatiently hunched over. <sighs> Alright. Alright, I'm coming down. Long hey, ago. Hey, hey, Hana, it's gonna be a. Uh, uh, Jalen puts uh, his hand on Hana's shoulder. Everything's gonna be fine. Just relax, take a deep breath, and we'll, we'll sort things up. Exhale. I just don't. Ivan, want... could your music help in this scenario? That's what I was looking at, yeah. I, th I think I should probably play a little bit of. A uh, little Song of the Sun might soothe her. Uh, I just yeah. don't. I just no. don't want Great Grandpapa to, you know, come back and hurt her more. I don't want. I just want to find her. Han don't Hannah, will. I promise you're not the only one who feels that way. I promise you, we will find her. It will be all right. We'll, we'll take her and you to the mortal plane, and everything will be fine. Trust me, we've been through a lot worse. Faye gives Ivan a sideways look. We have? <laughs> uh, oh. no, Amber just perks up at Ivan and I say, Sweetie, understatement. <laughs> well, hey, I consider I consider the little I consider the little squabbles we have in our group far more painful than anything we're ever gonna face in hell, so And on that note, Amber just scoops up Ivan and says, Shush. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, Once anyway. again, you're one of the most unique people I've ever met, Ivan. <laughs> okay, anyway, look. Reminds so, me of my mother in some ways, Ivan. At any rate. So, what is the book exactly? Sorry. Yeah. Uh, this is the third time I've tried to read it and I got distracted. Uh, uh -huh. Well, while you're looking that up, next question is Shiloh supposed to be here? Yes. Yeah, he's top left. Uh, right by Ravis. I'm just asking because I, I I didn't know there was a point since Rose isn't here. Well, Rose, Rose is here. She's Rose, in, she's in pocket, Rose's I think. pocket. Yeah, she's in okay. your pocket. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was like, oh crud! Did I lose Rose? Where is she? <laughs> I got one hat Rose in my pocket. Uh, Y'all are making sorry, it impossible okay. for me to I'm read sorry. this. All I'm thinking is Rose Emerald Song. I choose you. <laughs> All right, All right, anyways, okay. let's... Yeah, let's, let's... Yep. Long ago, in the time before the Primeval Pact was signed, there existed a great empire on the mortal plane. The Netherese. 
Netheries. Easy Nether. At at this time, magic was bountiful, permeating the universe and every living creature within it, so it could be harnessed and used with greater ease. The study of magic was so advanced, it became <clears throat> it became an average part of life. You could have clothes that cleaned you when you put them on, portals across Alatastica that could fit in your pocket, and swords that could rival modern godly gifts. However, the outpouring of magic from this empire caused strange, incomprehensible creatures to emerge from the Underdark, called the Lolan. Yes, that is how you pronounce it. I got it right, yay. Who, uh... These creatures ate magic like moth to the flame, like a moth to the flame, could not resist the allure of the Netherese beacons. At first, the creatures were little more than a nuisance, but soon they made coordinated assaults. These creatures were resistant to magic, which made difficult, which made defeating them difficult. An all-out war raged between mortals and the Lolan. One second, my glasses. <sighs> The Archmage of the Netherese Empire, a savant by the name of Karsis, had spent nearly a decade trying to purge the Lolam once and for all. He developed an incredibly complicated spell for this task. It required the gizzard of a white dragon, the blood of a Tarask... I hope that's right. Tarask. Tarask. Oh, the no. bile of a twelve... of a twelve-headed hydra, the ground up remains of a demon lord's horn and the feather of an astral deva and six n hours of non-stop concentration and incantation this spell would allow him to ascend and replace a deity pardon hmm? wow Carsis had set his sights on mistra the goddess of magic and keeper of the weave the weave is the tiny invisible threads that keep magic fixed to the multiverse. Karsus theorized that with Mistra's power and control over magic, he could surely destroy the, Lo the Lolam once and for all. Karsus had succeeded in his casting his spell, but at great cost. Immediately upon his, dis his ascension and dethroning of Mistra, her power had given Karsus vast knowledge that ha had him instantly realize his folly. Part of Mistra's duty had been to keep the magic permeating the universe stable, and by forcing a spell of this magnitude as well as flooding humanity with the magical power they needed to destroy the Lolan, the weave had grown unstable and was being torn asunder. Lacking the experience needed to manage this development, he willingly surrendered his deific power back to Mistra. It was too late, however, as the effects of the magical chaos had caused nearly all the floating ci cities of the Netheries to crash to Earth. To prevent this calamity from happening again, Mistra had decreed new rules for magic. The requirements for performing magic, even by gods, would have ev even higher costs, as unlimited power and potential had nearly caused multiversal disaster. All sentient beings would have to have their powers significantly limited. This would complicate matters in regards to dealing with the horde of demons, which led to the rise of the Devil Lord, Big Red, and the creation of the Primeval Pact. There have been attempts to subvert Mithra's decree. Mithra. There have been s attempts to subvert Mistra's decree and recreate the spell of Karsus' avatar, but the alternative components were deemed too costly and too impractical to obtain. The Lolam were also deemed too dangerous to be kept on the mortal plane, so they were moved to another plane entirely. Many of the arcane secrets of the Netherese Empire have been scattered across the multiverse but some have been found and now reside in, the, reside in the deepest alcoves of Bokub's library, only to be viewed and never practiced. Amber tilts her head in confusion. Ooh, excuse me. Hmm. That's... So, the reason for the primeval pact wasn't just because um, Grandpapa... Uh, Decided that he wanted ultimate power. 
I think this was a different pact. <laughs> it was an altering of the laws on magic. I don't expect that had much to do with the primeval pact at all. Oh, thank you. The Nether Reese Empire. Gotcha. <clears throat> all right. Wait, what so, those, does it say what those alternatives were? I costly. I would rather not contemplate that uh, the ingredients listed were already fascinating, to put it politely, and I don't want to think of what an alternative to, say, a white dragon's gizzard, n no offense, Amber, would be. I, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just looking like. Uh, I, I saw the great tyrannosaurus. Isn't that like a, like a demonic T like a Tyrannosaurus Rex or something like that? Uh, hmm. no do I have a knowledge I can roll for that? Uh, yeah, knowledge uh, Arcana. Okay. Welp. That twenty. Nice. Whoa. Okay. Impressive. Uh, yes, you do know what the Tarask. Uh, you you do know what the Tarask is, and it is a absolutely terrifying creature it's that legends say that long ago it was so powerful that it could it was a creature that gained so much power that it nearly destroyed the world and the only thing that could be done was to put it to sleep Oof. Oh boy. so it's a grim hmm. I'm sorry yikes <laughs> I don't get the reference. It's Ruby. I said it's oh, a Grim. Yeah. Shay, seriously. Mm, okay. I don't watch Ruby. Don't see, don't uh, come across. It was that a joke. <laughs> okay, so that's taken care of. So we got that. So what about the shields? Because we have the the, the three the three shields. One's wood, and two of them are like a different type of metal. Well, he said that they were looters. Maybe they're just there to help. As in, like, they're good shields. Mm. Well, I would expect that a shield would be most useful for Owen. He's had the same shield since we began traveling together. So it's breathing through their mic again. Oh, oh um, it's probably Finn. Just uh, raise it up. They're high up as my mic can go. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't think <laughs> if that's the case, it's not you. All right. So what are we going to do? I'm waiting for them to decide. I'm confused what's happening. That's why Amber was tilting her head. What does this all mean? I don't understand. I'm sorry. I'm trying to pay attention. I'm ADD. I don't get it. No, it, it, <laughs> no. it, it may not. Too many words. <laughs> Wait, hang on. Um, we know that um, Grandfather wants power. Do you think he, the reason he has this book is because he's trying to use this old magic to get it. But this book only explains what the Empire was, and you saw it. It was very, very undisturbed for only the gods know how long. Maybe because you already have the knowledge. I don't know. I'm trying to... I know, Hana. I know. I don't get it either. Well, with our, with our <sighs> luck, it'll be revealed in due time. <laughs> So, oh, all I have left is the shield thing. So, is anyone want to, now? If, now, if I recall, now uh, DM if I remember, uh, we take one shield, the other two are des destroyed. Yes. Yeah, okay. Uh... Hmm. Shall we then? Let's take one. Alrighty. All right. To the shield. Shield. And the looters, we can too. Uh... My right. just don't make it a habit, Hana. Okay, so it was a wood. Okay, so the wood. It was a wood oh, shield. Also, um, because of my mouse and stuff again, would you mind moving my uh, character, please, Josh? Okay. Um, Owen, since it will be a shield for you, I say we leave this decision up to you. At this point, I'm sure any one of them could yield good results. Mm. So if you want me to just walk up to one. 
All right, the one on the, the the left, the leftmost one appears to be something made of sturdy black wood. The fur, the middle one, uh, has a has a has a weird face on it, and the bot and the bottom one has some arcane runes on it. Hmm. Let me take a look again at the one with the runes. I'm not touching it. I'm just gonna look at it. Okay. Yeah. Thir- okay. Third. Yeah, I like to do <laughs> sniff at it. <laughs> <laughs> snip, snip. Uh, uh, which one are you sniffing? No, Faye's <laughs> doing something. I'm just sniffing around because I got nothing to do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think Faye's looking at the one, yeah. the the runes, the runes one. Yeah, she's appraising. All right, all right, all right. So. Uh, you're looking at the runes, and you get the feeling that there's there's magic stored in this shield. Mm-hmm. Okay, if there are runes, I could probably decipher what kind of runes there are. Okay. Mm-hmm. That could probably give us a clue about what sort of magic is in it. The heck am I... Uh, it look the runes look a little bit like that they're casting some sort of evocation spell. Hmm. So, if I roll a spell craft, could I could I figure out what yes. kind of spell? Yes. I'm I'm getting this. I'm getting this. Uh, you're pretty sure that this shield uh, will allow the the caster to cast fireball. Oh, beat fire! Hmm. Oh. Uh, uh, okay. This shield seems like it will grant you the ability to cast fireball. <laughs> to okay. what extent? Oh, I'm gonna look at the middle one, and I'm gonna roll All right. a spot. All right. All right, as your, all right, roll spot. Uh, I gotta relearn my sheet all over again. It feels like it's been forever. There it, it is. Has, as, as it has. Oh! <laughs> this? So I'm sorry. Re- I I apologize for being slow. That, 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 I tried. Okay. Oh! Oh! No. Oh! 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 How? Oh, that one. That's why. Mm. Need, oh. me, need, need me to look at it. <laughs> Please, how about? Uh, I gotta go. Okay, okay. Oh, well, uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, you're looking. Yeah, uh, you look. You look forward, and you accidentally lean a little too far, and yet yeah, you accidentally trip, and and doing so, you accidentally grab it. Oh no! Oh, oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Immediately, uh, the other two shields drop into the magma. Uh, no! Dang it. Uh, what did I do? What did I, I do? I believe the choice has been made. Uh, it, it wasn't... It was an accident. Uh, it's okay. Yeah, that was a, when I saw that nat one, I knew that was what was going to happen. Too. It's okay. It's a, well, well, let's, let's just have a look at the shield. All right. Uh, away from the magma. Walk, walk this way. Ever slowly walks away. All right. Oh, can be you All right. Mean it. All, right. All, right. All right. Let's have a look at this. Uh, let's have a look at the face. Uh, or, yeah, yeah, Amber yeah, had yeah. Oh, one very bad, very embarrassed. All right. You're looking uh, at the fe- you're look you're looking at the surface of the shield. It has a strange face on it, and as you're looking closer at it, it feels to it's seeming to absorb the light around it. Whoa. Ah. Let, Josh, that's... you didn't. What do you do? I don't get it. What do you do? I just thought of Legend of Zelda. Oh. Is it? Whoa. I, uh... Faye, a little help here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Sorry. Gonna... Yes, I'm coming over. Let me see the shield. Amber, please relax. That was just frustrating. I, I am a stupid clumsy dragon. <laughs> You're not. Actually, I didn't mean it. It was an accident. You know that the te- you know that this is a masterwork shield, but 
what it actually does, you're not entirely sure. What it does, you're not entirely sure. You're gonna probably gonna need some sort of identificate. You're you're probably gonna need to bring this to an expert on mag on magical items, or you're just gonna need something stronger. Like that. Caster level, caster level check. Because items. CL. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let that be my only nat one, please. <laughs> uh, why'd you have to say it? No, uh, okay. Sorry. All right, so you identify this magic item hey. as an absorbing shield. Once every two days, on command, it can disintegrate an object that it touches as, a, as the spell but requiring a melee touch attack. This effect effect only functions as an attack. It can't be activated to target a creature or weapon as it strikes the shield. Hmm. Hmm. So basically... Oh, go ahead. <laughs> All right, so Owen, you get... So Owen, you, you drop your original shield and you grab it. I'm going to put it into your... I'm going to put it into your thing, so... Out of character, does it raise his AC? Uh, yes, by one. Woo! Better mm -hmm. than nothing. Okay, so we got the- okay, so we got the book, we have former charges with the- with the foresight thingy, and we have a new shield. <sighs> Incidentally, <Not> Amber... <laughs> Amber looks to wrap us without making eye contact. No, it is nothing about what what just happened. That probably saved us more time. I'm just curious about something. If the patient does happen to show off, you wouldn't it be possible for you to forgive him for all he's done and accept him as part of your horde, would it? Hmm. Yeah. Um. Confused. I was simply asking. I was simply asking if it would be possible for Amber to forgive the patient, the boss, the big red, as you say, and accept him as part of your your horde if he shows up. Osmodeus? Don't ever! Well, you broke the DM! <laughs> <laughs> Ambi, <laughs> that was really freaking funny. So, um, I don't want to play anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're far, yeah we're referring to the big guy. Too late. I s <laughs> anyway, let's just let's just go. I'm I'm taking that answer as a no. <sighs> uh, can you hear me? Yes, Amber just okay. Amber, Amber just the talk. That hug of the best weapon we have. Faye comes over and gives Amber a pat on the nose, trying to comfort her. I'm already giving her a hug. Uh, she, she's she's just not looking at anybody anymore. Her head's on the her head is pointing <laughs> down. <laughs> Faye, I, I, I actually Faye. thought Roberts is uh, on your, on your on your family, sorry, cow. Let's just go find the queen. All right, let's just. Oh, all right, just continue on. Continue on. Continue on. All right, let's just let's just let's just go and find find Dominion. Right. I'm just I'm just picturing that as like a comic book page. Everybody's mm -hmm. making all these clever illusions, and then she just says the name, and then there's this sound explosion. <laughs> All I was going uh, okay. to say is, if you could, that hug of yours might be the best weapon we've had. Trust me, I would know. <laughs> all right. all You're right. not I'll... the only one, Ravis. Alright, I wave right. I wave her to Hana. I was like, alright, we're good. Okay, right. so, what are we doing? Hana, wait! Wait, please don't run off without us. I'm not leaving the room, I'm just waiting. Okay. I well... know, sweetheart, I just get antsy. And I understand that, but with... But... I know, Hana. 
please, being antsy will cause you to make mistakes. Especially in dangerous situations like this, you need to calm down and think carefully about the things you do, or you're likely to make, or you're likely to get yourself caught in a needless, in a needlessly dangerous situation. And Don't be happy. like Amber. Amber co coughs up and then puts her head back down. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, okay. So we've been, so we uh, we've been that way. So I think down to the left is. Uh, <laughs> Hannah wanted us to go and check if there was anything we missed in the previous rooms. Remember? Oh, right, because right, right. Yeah. There was a huge loot room that that we didn't that we didn't look at, and because there were a bunch of devils in there. However, if Maybe it just makes sense to me, but I would, no, hide, I would hide a trap door underneath a bunch of treasure. Maybe. It could work, but uh, again, we'll have, again we'll have to. Uh, we'll just say hi. We're hi. We're not. We're not interested. We're just looking for. Uh, we're not looking for what you're looking for. <laughs> okay. Uh, can, can, can we can we please move on? Yes. Yeah. Please. Mm. All right. Now, where is now? Which where is the the treasure room? I forget which way. Wasn't well, it this way? Oh yes. Thank you. All right. Let's check the other treasure room. Say hi. That's it. I think it was up here. Oh. Oh. Where? Oh. Okay. Up, up, up. Can't see. Can't see. Oh, there we are. All right. <clears throat> All right, center. <laughs> Pardon me. Excuse me. After you, beloved. Okay, I believe both these were. Okay. Actually, Amber's uh, like, you know what? I'll, I'll just stay out here. Uh, that's a okay. good call. Although, um, Ravis, I may need some uh, translation because yeah, you're the only one of us who speaks Infernal. <clears throat> I'm coming. Thank you. Again, uh, uh, my yeah, okay, just on scrolling it. the screen is slow for me, so. Uh, he's not the only one. I kind of lived here. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you have to understand, we're still getting used to the idea of letting you come out into these situations with us All without right. having to protect you every step All of right. the way. Um, okay, I look through the I look through the door uh, to see how many of them are in there. But, okay. Uh, how many are in are in the treasure room? Mm -hmm. Josh. <laughs> yes. Oh, I was just, I was just uh, looking through how many people are in the treasure room that I can see. Uh, <clears throat> you see. Uh, shut the door, please. Uh, you see two. You see two, but you distinctly remember seeing three before. That's the third one. Huh. Perhaps he's just in the back. Uh the shot. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, slowly open. The, uh, slowly open the door. All right. Slowly opening the door. <laughs> all right. I'm you, sorry. All right. You enter the room, and <clears throat> before you is a vast hoard of treasure with gleaming coins, glittering jewels, and a giant set of white armor and a black gauntlet. In the center is a large ruby surrounded by purple blood and two very hesitant looking cornugons. Okay, uh, Apollo, uh, Hana, uh, Ravis. Uh, um, I, I, yeah, um, I don't even know where I am right now, so. You're, okay. you're literally one square diagonal south of Jalarum. <clears throat> yeah, again, even just scrolling or moving around is incredibly slow for me. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, you're there. there. It's okay. immediate. I'm at, at the cor oh. the corner. Gons tur turn around and look at you, and that and then they they sit. They <laughs> it's like they're they're kind of look like where'd that voice come from? Then they look down and they're like, oh. Um, I, I wave my hands like uh, apologies. Not look not looking for whatever's whatever they're over there. I translate for them. Okay. Apologies. Um, honestly, says, is there something that we can help you with? They 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 kind of they, they're, they're kinda, they kinda, get, you see them look at each other. <laughs> I'm sorry, Josh, but you said you stuttering like that in, the, in that voice made it sound like you were speaking a foreign language. Yeah, I thought you were speaking in like a jittering infernal. 
Destroy <laughs> Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Anyways, um, you see them look. You see them look at each other as if they're as, and their faces change, as if they're having a conversation. Uh, that they're that, and they look back at you and say, "If you can figure out what this little trap is, you can have anything you want here. We're done." <laughs> Uh, then they then they immediately just put they immediately just push you to the side and walk out. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm guessing that the third one oh, is, the, is the pile of purple blood. Gotcha. Oh, don't step too close, okay? Help! I, uh, DM, you took me away. What? Right. what? You, you 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 the devil's apparently kidnapped me because I'm not on the screen uh, anymore. Uh, <laughs> all right. Well, <laughs> all right. All right. Well, I believe this will be my area of, of uh, expertise. We don't want Amber in this room. All we right. Her, yeah, all right. So, all right. So you move. All right. So you move forward, and you do detect a trap within the immediate vicinity. Yeah, okay. Oh, um. Gotcha. Now. Uh, can Hana's? Uh, so the purple blood is the purple blood. The other guy. Was the other yeah. guy. <laughs> he's the sm he's the schmutz on the floor. He's street pizza. Double tapping. All right. All right, let's see if it, all right, so I'm rolling a search to see where the trigger is. Okay. Uh, 30, where is it? Uh, you're pretty sure that the trigger is, it has something to do with the ruby, but you're not sure what. It's like, you're looking, you're looking around it and it's something to do with it, but you're not sure what it is. Aren't y'all glad I didn't go in there? Very much so. <laughs> All right. Well, if the, well, if the trigger is the ruby, I'm not exactly sure. Probably magical in nature, unless we figure out. Hmm. I don't Magic, know. Magic. That's the Uh, I can't really examine it with. I can't examine it with the with a cacophony of hellhounds bark barking in the background. Um. <laughs> Shut up, be quiet. Apologies, that's my neighbor's dog. He won't shut the heck up. Sorry. <laughs> well, we're in hell, so <laughs> different context. Anywho, um, I, as long as I do not touch it, I suppose I can. Oh, I, I'm so afraid to. The last, the last time I tried to appraise a giant gem in the middle of a room that it was associated with a trap, I I set loose three evil elementals. Hmm. Well, you can only do better than th you can only do better this time, then. All right, so <clears throat> you're looking at this. Uh, you're looking at this ruby, and it is the biggest ruby you have ever freaking seen in your life. If you, it's uh, just if you're if you manage to haul this out, it would make you the richest. It would make you. Uh, it would make dragons envious. Double I, glad I'm not in there. Yeah. Also, a quick <laughs> question. Um, what's do, do you get an attack bonus for the scythe? <sighs> okay. You be quiet. <clears throat> okay. So it's connected. All I know is that it. All I know. All we know is that it's big. From it. From your praise check. Yes. Darn. Uh, uh, I, w I would say disable device, but uh, but if it's that powerful in nature, it's really better not to risk it. Mm. But if it if there's a trap powerful enough to destroy one of them, it's likely guarding something quite impressive. Yeah, no. It could be guarding the doorway to you know the dungeons. Got it. Oh, uh, Hana, uh, we have four, four more charges on the on the commune spell. Mm. Oh, okay. Um, uh, uh Abraka Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> All, All right. right. So oh, the same, the same, the same, the same little white wisp uh, shoots out from the wand and engulfs Jalarum. Okay. Here are the questions. Okay, let's let's run through a couple of questions. Uh, is it a good idea to move the ruby? Uh, you 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 get you you. You get a mostly positive. 
mostly positive. Okay, so it's may might not actually be the ruby, but uh, is there some? Okay. Uh, under the ruby. Okay. Is uh. Okay. If I if I, okay. Uh, okay. I gotta I gotta work fast. Gotta work fast. Um. Is there something under the okay. ruby? Okay. Is there so okay? Is there something under the ruby? You hit uh, the word treasure. Okay. That's is the tre is uh, is the, is the rest of the treasure booby trapped? No. Okay. Uh, uh, the pools of magma do they do they affect anything? No. Uh, okay, so mostly yes. Um, is there a specific way to move the ruby that will is, not trigger the trap? Uh, is there a way to move? Is there a way to? Okay, yeah. Uh, is the way to move the ruby without triggering the trap? Wrong. No. Okay. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, it, it's magical, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. What if it reacts to your intentions? Okay. Um, Does it react to intentions? Ask. Will it react to my intentions to take the hang ruby? On for a hang on for a minute before you ask any more questions. Halfway. <laughs> Halfway. Sorry. Please, there any, if how many we pieces have a... of, that, of that wonder available, are available left? That was the second one, so we have three one. left. Um, okay. okay, I'm running out of time. Um, yeah, give me another... Uh, what's another question I can ask? Maybe about the armor or the gauntlet. Uh, ar is the armor or the gauntlet uh, uh, will be trapped? You do not get an answer. Ah, dang it. Okay, I'm run okay I ran out. Okay, I'm out, out of time. Duh. How many times? We, okay, we have. Want to try one, one more time? Actually, no. if I Wait. may. Uh, yes, Robin. Yes, Robin. Yes, yes. yes, I don't yes, Robin. care about that. Do you not think that perhaps we could use this wand to better locate Jaminia? I agree. Using a similar method to what you have been using now. At the very least, it could narrow down where she is and what defenses is the patient has set up to keep her where she is. Possibly. I mean, I mean, you're right. But... Okay, this one. <clears throat> I thought maybe a magical trap of this magnitude would lock something that important to him. It's possible, <laughs> yes. Yeah, but if we lug, the, lug this around, it's basically, um, we're, we're, basi we're basically moving, to we're basically a target. I'm going to see if I can figure anything out engineering-wise about this. You don't realize that, that is the wrong check to use. Raga, fraga, fraga. Let me, let, let me, and let, when, let me call for checks. Sorry. Okay. Um. Oh goodness gracious! DM, is it possible to disable a dev uh, If I find where the device is, can I disable? Uh, can I disable it? I already told you that whatever the thing is, it's related to the ruby. Darn it! Is that a yes or a no? Yeah, it's it's mo mostly it's uh, it'd be safe to pick up the ruby mostly, but uh, if they if to move it a specific way, we'd probably be halfway. So, God, I am I'm blanking, and unfortunately, the the spell already ran out. A mage hand, while none of us are in the room, perhaps. Mage hand won't move something that large. I see. F floating disc might. That's true. Try that. Uh, back out of the room and, and try and move the ruby with the, with the disc and see what and see what happens. Everyone out of the room, please. Yes. Okay. Oh, I was gonna. I was gonna. I was gonna. I was gonna say, um, Hana, maybe just just on, just on the safe just on the safe side, cast it on Faith Thurin. Uh, 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 uh. No. 
we're not going to we're not going to waste those spells. I don't know I don't know commune spell. I believe that Owen's ability to communicate with the gods is limited here. And quite frankly, I don't want to hear from Elidamara anyway. So Ravis was right to point out we could use that wand to help us discern where Jaminia is. Wait a minute, Elidamara is the one who's telling you these things. Uh not precisely, no. Oh. Alright, cast your spell. There it is. All right. A shining disk of violet light uh, appears under the ruby and lifts it up. Nothing happens. Mm. I'm going to carefully shift the ruby to, like, here just to, like, get it out of the way to see what happens. Okay. I'm going to got to... Back. Okay. Nothing happens. I'm going to very carefully step back into the room. No, no, my nothing. Ghost. Nothing happens. Ah, I'm so scared. Oh my god! Sorry, sorry. I just wanted to see what's going on. Okay. Well, looking at the blood, it looks like it. Hmm. Maybe... Okay, so if that's not... And maybe it's, maybe it's a, like, if, if it crosses a certain line. Um, DM, may I roll a sense motive if... Uh, no. No? Okay. Got it. thinking real hard here. I know, me too. Um, Sorry, I can't be much help. I'm kind of staying out here. Yeah, okay. well... Well, it looks... Well, if it... My guess is if it crosses the line, then... Well, let's step that, back out of the room and I can try that. Alright. I'm going to bring the ruby over this direction to see if his theory is correct. Oh, sorry. Ah! Nothing happens. Huh. That is weird. Yep. Hmm. Okay, um... Hmm. Maybe just... Maybe just place it... Maybe just t place it down. Don't take the ruby and just look at the other treasure, since th that, that wasn't yep. ruby-trapped. I'm going to place it back over here, because I don't want to be near it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to put it down on the floor now. Okay, it's down on the floor. Uh, anything happened? Nope. Okay. Um, hmm. Yeah. I'm still very, very agitated. I know. Um, hang on, I'm just looking at my equipment. Uh, see if I could... I do have one more thing of rope. Oh, yeah, well, I, still, I still have another thing of rope. Rip Let's... snakey. Yeah, rip, rip R, R I P Snakey. But let's see. We'll see if it's a, a mo let's see if it's a motion. If I uh, I toss the, I toss the rope oh, um, um, over the line into the um, into the treasure. Nothing happens. All right. You sound exasperated. I'm guessing we're wasting Apolog our time being over over cautious. All right. Um. Okay. I'll do a spot. Um. Okay. So we know the black. So. Uh, may I do a search on the treasure outside of the? Um, hang on deposit? a moment. I have. Yeah. Yes, you may. Yes, it is a. It's thirty foot radius. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh. All right. You look around, and as I said before, you see gleaming coins, glittering jewels, a giant set of white armor, a black gauntlet, and. That's about it. I hmm. want to take a closer look at the gauntlet. All right. <clears throat> so. Ooh. Gauntlet. Ooh. 
Thanos. Okay, so you take a look at the gauntlet, and it's it looks black, rusted, and pitted. Like, like there's like inserts. Yes. Hmm. Okay. So <laughs> that. Uh. So I'm there... appraising it. Okay. You're you're looking at you're looking at it, and it just seems to be like a worthless piece of junk. Hmm. <sighs> Perhaps we um, should you perhaps we should use the communion spell again and ask it if Hannah's theory is correct. If this is leading us towards Jiminya or further away from her. Um uh, my eyes are drifting towards the um white armor. Can I bring that closer? Using yes. this I'm gonna use the same mage hand after it just like drops the gauntlet. Mm-hmm. Alright. You you look at the you look at the white armor, and it appears to be a very elaborately designed sort of chainmail. And mm. you know, it's also very light for chainmail. Light, like um, DM question, like if, for example, if I put if I put it on, it would um, while well, like, no, okay, no, okay, gotcha. I'm going to appraise again. All right. You rec- you recognize this as you recognize the material as mithril. Ooh. Would you at all mind if um I just want to get this out of my head because it's going to bug me unless I ask. Does it look familiar at all? Uh no. Okay, good. Thank you. Because I was worried for a second that was Gem's armor. <laughs> now, remember she was taken down in ceremonial armor? Yes, I know, but I don't... Ah. Well, <coughs> then again... Anyway. I, 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 all I, I remember was that it was white armor. I, I, honestly, I would take the, I'd take the mithril armor. Mm-hmm. Personally. Mm-hmm. All right. And is there any, like signs of runes or engravements or what the heck sorry my bad <laughs> i'll just take all of this treasure with my mage hand uh, yeah. thank you all right just go okay uh are there like any runes or engravements or anything like that on any part no. of the okay nope. so it's just mithril armor gotcha. um, what <laughs> yes some, what are some of those shiny rocks they're oh. Some of the the metal pieces are gold, the shiny rocks are gems. They're valuable. They're considered valuables, but I promise you, we don't want to bring them with us on account of having a hoarding dragon in our party. What kind of gems? Yeah, that's actually a good question. What kind of gems? Well, you see, uh, color. You see gems over there in all to- in sorts of varying colors. Red, blue, green, white, pink. White? Are are there diamonds amongst them? Yes. Um, can Faye use the mage hand to try to take two diamonds? Yes. I'm going to grab two diamonds. Fair. Okay, you grab two diamonds. Uh, I'm going to just add those to my inventory. <coughs> um, um... Uh, DM question: How, like, uh, what size would the uh, the the mithril armor fit? Uh, it seems like it would fit a person of uh, stockier, bit uh, of stockier frame. Okay, so bigger frame. Gotcha. Okay, so I'm not. So I'm not it's a... probably best suited to Owen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's pretty stocky. <laughs> um. The uh, actually, would it suit my frame? No, you're too su- you're too skinny in life. <laughs> <laughs> you are good on that, man. All right. Um. Uh, I I I look at Owen. I like, like, I look at Owen. It's like, uh, you think this will be a, a little bit strong, a little bit stronger if you wear this? More than likely, yes. Um. All right. Uh, I put it. I put it on the floor. To, uh. Um. 
it's it, it's up for you. It's up to you if you if you would like it. If you say, <laughs> then I ah. pick up the armor and exchange it for the chainmail I've been wearing since day one. That has been cracked Wait. since water was poured on it. And oh right, I forgot about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you wear chainmail? Yeah, I've yeah. been wearing chainmail. Chain the whole time. Time. Yeah. And yet another thing I need to edit in the Soul Calibur thing. <laughs> I okay, I, Amber pokes her head in. What are y'all doing in there? Uh, just we're good. We're just we're just uh, picking up a, a couple things and we're out. Can yep. I come in? No, you no, may not. No, you can't. I'm bored. Do you think we could get maybe a little treat for Amber? Um, let's not be. Let's not get greedy. It only, yeah. uh, only, only take what we'll only take what we feel is necessary. No I'm going to grab one of the rubies, just one of the little rubies. Okay. All right. All right. All and right. I'll and I'll bring it over. All Amber, right. I have something that... for you. Hmm? Wait, what? 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 Uh, Josh what, what did you say? What? Uh, I was set. Uh, so, so that's all you're taking from the pile? Well, that's all I'm taking. If anyone else wants to, I'm not going to nah. stop them. Nah, I'm good. Like, I'm not. I'm not as, as much as I as much as I uh, would like to take something. I uh, I think I, I, I'm not going to be greedy for once in my, for once in my for once in Jalarum's life. He's not going to be greedy. <laughs> Amber, I have something for you. All right. Huh? I'm going. I I hand, hold the ruby out to Amber. Sparkly, 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 sparkly. It, it's all yours. <laughs> Amber tries very hard not to snatch it immediately. Hmm. And be control yourself. I just, I just think that a, I thought that a ruby would be appropriate, considering we're here to rescue yours. Mm -hmm. Amber snatches it and clings it tight. Jimenya. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh, so I think we're done in this room. I think let's uh, let's let's go find let's go find our queen. Alright. Alright. Okay, there we go. Come on. Move. Oh, Not... Computer, please. Don't do this okay. to me. Okay. I'm... Okay, keep going. March, okay. march. March, march. Um, okay, I believe it's down to the left was where we, did, we didn't... March, 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 so left and then... No, this, oh. the, the other way. Oh, this way? <laughs> yeah, where I am, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, it's so the left and then down into the left is the only place I don't think we checked. Mm. Wait. <laughs> What? Just like, DM just grabbed me and shifted me back. <laughs> like, <laughs> like a child. This way. <laughs> All right. I'm totally not uh, a little hyper for the coffee. I can feel myself shaking right now. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, can we go? Can we go? Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Hey, room. Relax. Oh, I went too far. Hang on. Oh, I'm guy. a cage tiger. I'm waiting for something to do. Let's go. Um, I gotta okay. find something. I'm gonna pet Shiloh as we're walking, just for a little bit of comfort. Nah. All right. Believe down. Okay. There we go. Down we go. Down we go. Yeah. Oh. 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 All oh. right. People. Hmm. Huh? 